Hello again everyone. Today, it is presented to extract text files saved to CSV by using a macro. Just so you know speaker not programmers. The recommendations come from the experience. Before we know how to collect data on the web. What we need to know before you create a macro code. That is we want to leave the web's announcement web companies that would like to do for example title product price details picture examples are shown in the video we like its title price product code details of all all photos the first step i will begin recording a macro after that we click on the web page in the position, we want to extract information from the web page. When finished, press the stop button. After that, I will rename files. You can use any file name you like. In the video I will rename files using Thailand language. After that, right click on the file. Choose menu edit macro. We will see a window for editing the code displayed. The first thing I would do. Delete the code shown a link URL. And now we have a rough model code now. Okay, we'll go together. We will go back to the page. It will start with a product. Right click on its title. Select inspect element. You will see that there inspector window displayed on the page. Part of this increase will be used for viewing the HTML and attribute HTML. We will focus on attribute ID or attribute class only. But a macro he can pull out attribute to every structure in HTML to use it. In the example we will copy an attribute class to use. We can see an example using the code. In the example of a plugin macros, I macros can be copied something on the web. For example, the message content or article, HTML, picture, link URL, if a value other than this. We need to write code JavaScript for adopted. We will start from the command used for retrieving the text on the page, that is extract txt. We will use this command article topics product or topic. Then we come to the code, as well as the code. We need to copy attribute class or ID in HTML to be used in iMacro because we are writing this code for use with all of this web page. We had to make iMacro refer to the value of attribute class or ID instead of referring to the group or text on the page because when a page has changed, group content or articles will change. The examples is showing. We were put up attribute used for pulling product code. Followed closely by check the value attribute to extract the price. For extract the product price, we will use another attribute, non-attribute ID or attribute class. We will do the same example. For article we want the inside attribute, in the other content on the page. Step extraction process details. We can see that, many of the content in the HTML attribute isn't directed. This case, we will search the HTML that covers all the details. Then pull up attribute ID or attribute class. 
to extract all the details as you want. See example and video. The next step we will save the information to file CSV using a code based off iMacros. See example and video. The video is edited. That is the position we want to save the CSV file folder on your computer. If we put the letter star into that point, like in a video preview, a macro will save files to a basics folder of a plug in iMacros. Folder name is data sources. Position 2 in this step is the name of the file we want to record a CSV in computer. We can make file name as needed. The prohibition does not contain special characters. We will begin testing a macro code is written. If the process is working, on the web will show pop up the results of the extract. Example on video. If results, text is, e, a, n, f that means I macro cannot extract text. We need to stop and recheck. Incident video. We have identified the wrong type on a macro. The value specified is span. But that should be a div. See example on video. When you are done editing, we will test the code again. A look inside the folder we save CSV files. If a file is visible, that our code is works. To test the code again, to ensure before we go next step. The next step, is the process of download products photos. How to do that let's go.